If you want to be great chefs, you have to learn about all kinds of different foods. From the people who brought you Chef's Table, salt, fat, acid, heat, and ugly delicious, come two new heroes of food. Hi, I'm Waffles, and this is Mochi. Well, well. Hello, Waffles and Mochi. Are you ready for an amazing adventure? Mm -hmm. Getting our kids to eat healthy, let alone their veggies, isn't always easy. But a new show on Netflix could help encourage kids to explore foods from around the world. And here to help us make one of the recipes from Netflix's Waffles and Mo Mochi, I believe, we have guest chef Zach Schweig of Hamilton Walkers, located in downtown Champaign, hanging out in our CI Kitchen. Welcome back. Hi, how are you? Well, great. So this is a great new show coming to Netflix, yep. encouraging kids to eat healthy, maybe try some new flavors that they haven't tried before. Absolutely. I know you've got kids. I do. Three, three and a half, five and a half, and so, they are... Uh, uh, young aspiring chefs, uh, as, they, they? as they would tell you, when they want to be, of course, of course. like any like any other child. But um, do do they try those new flavors, or are they absolutely. chicken nuggets Abs and mac and cheese? No, we do a lot of baking at home. Um, drawers full of fresh vegetables. We always have the staples: garlic, onion, carrots, celery. Uh, we make soups from scratch. My wife actually does most of the cooking at home. Really? Uh, Since you do all the oh. cooking at Hamilton Walkers, you need yeah, a break. Yeah, it's it's not necessarily a break. She's just she's better than I am. So. Oh. <laughs> You are a good husband. You, we're doing, you've we're, learned. We're doing all right. Uh, <laughs> I think the most important thing is just to expose your kids at a young age to the uh, the wealth of offerings in the in the culinary world, and it really just can help develop their palates over time. Yeah. And, and help them appreciate food so well and this is one of the recipes actually yeah. featured on the show so what are we making exactly this is uh, salmon nosrats um, version of, a, of an awesome summer tomato pasta um, we're gonna candy some cherry tomatoes cook off a short noodle for folly short noodles refer to short not long so okay. it's pretty easy um, how do you candy tomatoes uh, sure. So we're looking to develop the just the the overall sweetness on the outside, um, essentially making a making a shell, so to speak. So um, the way that she's written this recipe is to take a couple tablespoons, or I'm sorry, uh, a couple half teaspoons of olive oil. Extra now, when virgin. we say she, are we talking about Michelle Obama? Oh no no no, Miss uh, Miss Nostra. Oh, <laughs> okay. Because I know this is a, yeah. a Michelle Obama inspired show. So I wasn't Absolutely. sure. Well, I, I know she's certainly an advocate for uh, um, child health and uh, just early childhood, childhood development. So we've got a little granulated sugar. And then oh. we're going to take a half teaspoon of sea salt. The rest of the sea salt is going to go in our pasta water. So these tomatoes get tossed in the sea salt and sugar. Essentially, what's that? what that does, uh, within the recipe, you'll see that you bake these at 225 degrees for about five hours. Stirring, oh, my. Stirring low and slow. Low and slow, stirring intermittently. And what that sugar does uh, is help to form a kind of a crust on the outside that keeps all the juices locked in. And that's the candy aspect as it bakes, the sugar melts. Okay. Uh, yeah, so super cool. So we're going to take these. Put them in the oven, and uh, you're going to want to come back to them every 30 minutes and just jostle the tray as such. All right. Won't they start to, like, break down and... They'll like shrivel. I'll, I'll, gra I'll grab the ones through the magic of television. Yes. That took five hours. <laughs> and, and that's what they'll look like. Yeah, here's what we end up with. Um, you can, you can see that there's no juice on the tray. Uh, that, that sugar, as it roasts, candies the outside of the tomato. All that juice is locked in and intact, so you still get that fresh tomato flavor. Okay, well, we're going to let our pasta get to work over there, and then we're just going to combine all of this together. You got it. We're going to take the tomatoes, uh, we're going to drain the pasta, uh, finish off with a little more extra virgin olive oil, some fresh Parmigiano-Reggiano, fresh basil, um, and maybe a little bit of the starch water uh, just to help the cheese melt in with the okay. noodles. So it should be fantastic. Stick Ooh, around. I have no doubt about that. All right. If you want a copy of this recipe and maybe you want to learn more about this new Netflix family series, Waffles and Mochi, we'll connect you at CILiving.tv.